Hello everybody and welcome to Daedalus Plays City Skylines. Another brand new series on a game um, I have heard a lot about and I've seen other people's videos about it. Um, but I have never actually played it myself. So this, what you're about to see, is uh, the first time that I will be playing this game. So it's probably... Uh, gonna take a while for me to get used to the controls um, but I think I've got a good idea of how the game works so um, let's go ahead and start a new game and um, this is a, a complete vanilla install um, the, I've got no DLC got no mods or anything installed so I will see how uh, well I will be doing with uh, this I am interested in getting some mods because from what I have seen uh, the game is lacking some uh, fairly important aspects and there are a lot of mods that uh, fix those shortcomings if I can uh, call it that uh, so anyway let's go ahead and choose a map and I don't really know what sort of map I'll be looking for. I think this could be interesting. I've got some nice rivers going through the terrain. Uh, the city name is randomly chosen. Uh, Springdale um, or Lakewood. Springdale again. West Valley. I don't know. I might change this uh, at some point. I probably want to change all the district names as well uh, when I build them but for now let's just go ahead with what the game gives me. So yeah I, th I think this is a good map to start on. So there we are, uh, and it does come up with some sort of a tutorial here. So let's see what it says. Let's start by building some roads and zoning the areas next to them. Buildings will spawn on the zoned areas and you will unlock new city services and buildings as your city grows. For help click on the question mark button. It will provide you with information regarding the menu of view you have open. Right, build roads to expand your city. Select the road type and draw a road by selecting a start and end point for the road with the primary mouse button. Stop drawing a road by clicking the secondary mouse button. Okay, well that's easy enough. Roads need to be built to provide zones for buildings and city services. Larger roads allow faster travel and greater amounts of traffic. Roads with decoration produce less noise pollution. Yeah, I've, I've seen that. So if you got a lot of trees next to your roads, it will sort of block noise pollution if I understand correctly. Uh, use page on page down to build elevated roads or tunnels. Draw a road over water to build a bridge. To change the road type, try the upgrading tool. Choose a road type and click on an existing road. Click on a one-way road with secondary mouse button to change its direction. Use upgrade tool to fix destroyed roads. Okay, so uh, looks like I only have this two-lane road unlocked. So let's try and connect them up to these uh, highways here. So that's obviously the highway coming in and out of uh, my area. And this is where I can start building my city. I don't think I want to do that, because if I do that, 
man. I won't be able to get a road in the center there. Well, it looks like I won't be able to get one anyway. Oh, so that's a bit, that's a bit odd. Let's try that again. Oh, actually, I do have uh, one-way roads available. So maybe if I do that with a curved road to like there. Oh, no, that doesn't work. I'm guessing it will work if I just move this back a bit. Get this one way road here. Sort of like that, I suppose. And then connect this up. That's not what I want. I want straight roads. I'm guessing something like this. And well, that's not the best. But then again, this is uh, my first time playing this game. Select zoning and zone areas next to roads. Buildings will spawn, yeah. So I want to get some residential zoning in because I've got a lot of residential demand. Zones determine what kinds of buildings will spawn to the areas next to the roads. Areas indicated by a gray grid. Next to roads can be zoned using zoning tools. There are four different tools for zoning. Fill, marquee and small and large brush. Zone an area by clicking the primary mouse button on it. Hold down the button to adjust the square marquee size. Continuously paint with a brush. Residential zones provide housing for the citizens. Commercial zones offer shopping and leisure opportunities for the citizens and tourists. Industry and office zones provide jobs for the citizens and produce goods for the commercial zones to sell. Okay, so that's fairly obvious. Well, I want all these areas to have residential houses. Uh, this does make me wonder, don't I need uh, electricity and water supply and uh, all of that good stuff? Game is not telling me that. Uh, at least not in like a tutorial sense. But it does look like they are building in this area now. And uh, in case you can't tell, I do have uh, a day and night cycle enabled. I don't know if I keep that because uh, it's fairly difficult to build like this. But then I don't really care at the moment. Right, so these people aren't very happy. The info window shows what's going on with selected building. Find out. You, you can see information about the residents or workers in the building. Find out how close to leveling up the building is and what is required by holding your cursor over the greenhouse icon. If there's a problem affecting the building, it is shown on the colored bar right below the name. Oh yeah, so I do not have power and I do not have a water connected, so yes. If there are multiple problems, hold your cursor over the icons to find out what's wrong and what can be done to help the building out. Good, so I need power and water. Uh, okay. So, 
Uh, electricity. Power plants produce electricity for all your modern city's needs. Electricity will move from building to building over short distances, but to transfer electricity over great distances, you will need to build a power lines. When placing power lines, you can see the reach of electricity around the buildings as a light blue area. Connect these areas with power lines to move electricity between them. Power plants produce ground and or noise pollution. When placing a power plant, the circular area around it tells you how far the pollution spreads. Okay, so what sort of power plants do I have? I've got wind turbines. I'm guessing it uh, really depends where I place them. I assume like higher up hills they will get some more power but those hills are outside the city limits so let's see if I can zoom out a bit and uh, see what I've got available to build this on ideally I don't want to build it too far away because of course it's gonna cost me money to build these power lines So it looks like I can get about 6 megawatts, or 7 in some areas here. And even 8 across the river. But I don't really want to go across the river just yet. So let's just build a couple of uh, wind turbines here in the 7 megawatts zones. then get this uh, power over to these uh, residents here. All right, so now they should no longer need electricity, but they are not getting any water. So that will be the next thing on the list. Water and sewage. Connect the water pumps and drains with water pipes. Draw the water pipes under your city to provide buildings with a water and a sewer system. Note that the water pumps and drains need electricity to work. Water tanks store excess water and supply the city automatically when demand exceeds production. Make sure your water pumps are located a safe distance away from any drain pipes to prevent people from using contaminated water. During the winter, heating is required. Upgraded water pipes carry heat to buildings. That doesn't apply to me because I don't have the Snowfall DLC. So I don't get any winter and uh, I'm assuming people will not uh, get cold at all. Uh, so let's go ahead and build some water pumping stations. Yes, so the flow of the river is this direction. So actually, building these uh, wind turbines here was not a bad idea because I'm guessing that these water pumps now already have power if I place them here. I probably won't need a lot of pumps. Um, but I'll build them anyway just to uh, just in case, let's say just to future proof. And then get all this water over to the residents over there. And now, well, there's actually plenty of water coming from the sky, looks like. Here the game is informing me now that I have a low density commercial zone. Oh, right, hang on. Sewage is backing up. That's not good. Uh, let's build sewage right on the other end uh, of the map or what I've got currently unlocked in the map. So this is a uh, water drain pipe. Yeah, let's, let's just build that here.
like I said before, this is just a temporary map, probably anyway. Just for me to see how this game works. And to get used to it. Right, there we go. So those houses are now also connected to the sewage or to the drains. Yeah, there it goes. So now there is demand for commercial and industrial quite a lot of industrial really so what I'll do I'll go ahead and uh, continue on this road for now let's just keep it going in this direction just because it's the easiest thing to do and get uh, let's just say get a little bit of uh, commercial in there and then get a little bit of industrial in there let's leave a bit more of a gap there so so there's not a lot of uh, pollution coming from the industrial zones over to the residential areas let's see if they start building uh, these new in these new zones now yep so these are under construction and because the way I put these power lines and I've got the water and sewage draining laid out this all should have water and uh, sewage all connected and it looks like it has and power is connected as well so that all works out very well Let's see, I've got this uh, economy tab open now, so I've got income and uh, expenses. Looks like I spend a lot on water. And uh, I don't really get a lot of income, looks like. So what I might need to do is just lower uh, budget for water quite a bit I've probably got way too much uh, water capacity anyway let's see I think I can yeah water availability is uh, way up there same with sewage treatment so for now I've got too much of that so my guess is I can lower down my expenses on water quite a bit Maybe I can... Uh, oh, I was gonna try and get uh, taxes higher up, but my population needs to grow to about 440 before I can do that. And right now my population is 66. Okay, so these are happy. How is this industry doing over here? That doesn't look like a box factory to me. Although maybe part of a box factory, but then... Oh yeah, so it will be part of that box factory. And this is Frank's fish stick factory, and they are quite happy as well. 
now they are starting to get some sewage problems. Right. That has gone down quite a bit. Uh, let's see, maybe I should just add a few more. Ah, that's the problem. Sewage hasn't got any power, so I will need to bring this power down. to the sewage pumps there. So I'm hoping that will sort out this uh, sewage issue. It's not operating, but it is switched on, so I don't know why it is not operating. It just that it takes a little bit for it to get going. They're not complaining about sewage now. And this has gone up even more. And this has gone right back up. So, yeah, I'm guessing. That should all be working now. And no, I still don't see anything coming out of here. Right, let's just go ahead and build some more houses because people seem to want to build more residentials. So let's give them that opportunity. And actually, while I do that, I might as well expand out, uh, let's say this way. Okay, not there then. How about here? Right, yeah, so that will work. Okay, it's a little bit too far, but that'll be fine. And let's just build some more houses along uh, this road. And then hopefully uh, commercial and industrial demand will also rise again so I can continue this road up here and build more of that actually let's just put down that road already and I might as well go ahead and zone this in just so it's there whenever they're ready to start building. Because right now, these don't have enough workers. And uh, I'm guessing that's because there's not enough uh, buildings. There's also not enough uh, water and sewage. let's do that and all these people will be happy well not quite happy but I mean they've only just moved in so Well, that is starting to look like a small town. And it's probably by no means perfect. So anyway, that's it for um, this first uh, video of Daedalus Place Cities Skylines. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely getting used to uh, the controls of this game. 
and uh, the mechanics. And I will continue playing on this map, but uh, this is still uh, a map I'm using to just get to know the game and see how it works. So if you've got any tips or information or feedback you want to give me, do leave your comments down below and um, I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, do like, subscribe and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I will see you again next time.